Yeah. You can't keep saying the world record is never in your mind. I mean, it's hard not to when you guys start like writing about it and stuff. But um, it was. Uh, I mean, it's on my mind. It was on my mind, but not. I didn't let it overtake me today, and uh, I think that's something that definitely helped. I was very relaxed. Just whatever happened, happened. You're now. Bruce was talking about the standard Shane Gould and now and stuff, and now you're with Canada. Um, how many courses have you been the last person to hold all three? What does that mean? Uh, it means a lot. Uh, it's an honor to be mentioned in the same sentence as Janet, and um, she's a great person and really great uh, role model for all, for all U.S. distance swimmers. Um, there's a great history of U.S. Uh, distance swimmers, and uh, we're just trying to follow in their footsteps and uh, to do well uh, in that in that uh, regard. Well, did you swim kind of to your game plan? Is that exactly? Yeah, I think uh, Bruce should be pretty happy about how I swam it. Um, just had to make sure I didn't uh, rush the first hundred. And uh, right after the first hundred, I could just go and uh, race the last three hundred. So uh, I think I set it up pretty well. Is that a perfect race in your view? Oh, it's probably pretty close uh, to perfect. I know last year at Worlds, uh, I swam a really great race, and I think I descended the last three hundred, three one hundreds there. So um, I knew if I could be a few tenths faster here or there um, on those back three one hundreds, that I could uh, potentially break that record. What was going through your mind on the last? Uh, just put it all out there. Um, just tried to kick as hard as I could and pull as, as hard as I could and get to the wall. You look like you're suffering pretty much at the end, more than we've kind of seen yourself on the floor. You were really hurt. I don't think so. I felt pretty good. Um, it's probably just, uh, you know, when I was you know, trying to grab as much water as I could and kick as hard. Uh, maybe my stroke looked a little different, but. Uh, no, I mean, once you, once you finish. Oh, once I finish? Yeah. Oh. Uh, Before you started pounding the water. I mean, <laughs> I haven't thrown up after a race yet, so <laughs> maybe that's uh, what I got to shoot for. <laughs> Katie, what were you feeling when you were uh, splashed in and tossed your cap? And what, what kind of uh, emotions were you feeling? Uh, just pure excitement. Um, you know, it never gets old to break the world record, so uh, it's still really exciting for me. Has your training uh, changed in any particular way over the last year or so that you think it's helped um, you to go so much faster? I mean, Bruce only started coaching me a year and a half ago, um, so for, I guess close to two years now. And um, I think his, the training is mainly geared around the 400, and I can go up to the 8 and down to the 2, um, and up to the mile too. So, um, but I mean, the past couple months, uh, I've gone race hundreds and I've been under a minute on a whole lot of them so um, that's given me the confidence that I can go 59s or double O's on the back three 100s. Um, last year I think I was double O's on the last three so um, just hitting 59s in practice and even some 58s just gives me the confidence to come in here and swim a good race. Were you feeling like uh, the 400 was something that you kind of had to trap like you were aiming to break the world record in the 400 after you had world records in the 8 and the not in particular here. Um, I just wanted to swim all, all my events and see what I could do. No, not really. I mean, I knew I could probably go best time this year, and I was seven tenths off the record, so I knew it would probably come eventually. So just never knew exactly when. You gonna do the 15 tomorrow or the 2 a.m.? Um, no, I'm actually not gonna swim anything tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna get back in the training. Which which event is sort of your baby? Um, probably the 800 just because that was my Olympic event, but I really love the 400 too, so probably those two. Probably time for two more guys. The meet's over now, I guess, you know, after the 500, how do you celebrate having such a big meet? What are you going to do before you leave? Not much. i got to get back into training and then get ready for camp packs, do some packing, make some laundry, and hop on the flight to Australia and see what we can do there. In which way could you eat? What's that? In which way could you I don't know, I think there are a lot of reasons to so, um, just trying to get faster. It's pretty simple and uh, I'll do whatever it takes to try to get faster, whether it's technique or just racing harder in practice, so we'll see what I can do. And what could be the, the best time according to you? I don't know. I have no idea yet what, uh, what, what my best time will be, but just hoping I can get faster. Thanks everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Katie. Do you Thanks. Do you go on laundry? Uh, <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs>